for joining us. I'm Kim Kalunian. And I'm Kayla Fish. First at five, a 17-year-old boy is in police custody in connection to last night's shooting in Fall River. A 14-year-old boy was rushed to Hasbro Children's Hospital after police say he was shot in the face. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock joins us live now from Fall River with the latest. Matt. According to Fall River Police, that 14 year old victim is in stable condition as neighbors are voicing their concerns over how the teen got his hands on a gun. Yeah, very, very sad. A 14 year old injured by a gunshot. Fall River Police responding to Maple Gardens housing complex Thursday night just after 8 o'clock. Police taking a 17 year old boy into custody in connection to the shooting, calling the incident, quote, unintentional. Sometimes teenagers make bad decisions and this one did not work out well for anybody. It's uh, a negative reflection on the city and at the same time uh, a child got severely hurt. Neighbors that didn't want to go on camera tell me that it all happened right here and that the 14 year old boy was in the wrong place at the wrong time. It's the streets is real crazy and it's just getting worse. Lawrence Krupp lives in the housing complex, a father himself. Call of Duty. I told him that it's like it's not, it's not it's a video game on a, to these kids, but you ain't responding in real life. Calling gun violence and the accessibility to guns part of a much bigger problem. It shouldn't be playing the guns, but they are. So it's a fact that's already there. We can't change it, but what we can do is we try to change the circumstances. We try to change the situation. Try to get it out of their hands before they used to try to do it with us. And most of the time, the kids are in the house. They don't go anywhere. They on the internet. They don't really do anything. So it's kind of like a trap thing. It's like a catch twenty two. You trap. You get the kids involved in something, so it'd be it'd be much better. They don't have no time to be thinking about shooting and playing with guns. The 17 year old male is facing five charges and police are not releasing him his name at this time because he's a juvenile reporting live in Fall River. Matt Paddock 12 News. A 14 year old is in the hospital after he was shot in the face in Fall River. The person accused a boy just three years older than him. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock spoke with neighbors at the Maple Gardens housing complex about what happened there last night and tells us what he's learned. Matt. According to Fall River Police, that 14 year old victim is in stable condition as neighbors are left wondering how a teen got a hold of a gun. It's the streets is real crazy and it's just getting worse. Police say blocking off parts of Maple Garden housing complex in Fall River Thursday night. But it was a lot of a lot of commotion like that, a lot of police, a lot of commotion. Bikes scattered across the roadway after police say a 14 year old boy was shot in the face by a 17 year old male. It's Call of Duty. I told him that it's like it's not, it's not it's a video game on a, to these kids, but you ain't responding in real life. Lawrence Crump is a father himself, concerned for his own son's safety. I got a son that's 14, so it, it, it hurts to see that because, you know, I got a fifth of my son walking around the streets. People his age that got guns and he don't have a gun, then that means he's already unprepared, already unprotected. Neighbors that didn't want to go on camera tell me that it all happened right here and that the 14 year old boy was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah, very, very sad. A 14 year old injured by a gunshot. Fall River Mayor Paul Coogan calling the shooting isolated and unintentional. Reckless behavior, uh, unintentional, and uh, police are still investigating. Frustrated that kids in their teens even had access to firearms. It's all bad right from the get go. I mean, we don't want any guns in our housing developments. So we don't want any, sure, we sure don't want any children having anything to do with them. The 17 year old male is facing five charges, but police are not releasing his name at this time due to him being a juvenile. Reporting from Fall River, Matt Paddock, 12 News.